Hello, welcome back. Today, we're making a video of this V-block. This is the finished job, and I'll show you how I made it. So, a precision engineering mixed blacksmithing. So, if you have a nervous disposition, I suggest you switch off now. Hello, and welcome back. How are you? Now, in the last video, I've just made a hand tapping machine, and you may have seen it, and I needed a V-block for the tapping machine to facilitate the holding of this two inch round brass bar. So, but I did say I wouldn't bore you with the construction of the V-block because the video was running quite long anyway. But I've decided it's quite interesting so I'll make a video, a separate video for the V-block. That's what I am doing. Uh, I've got this RSJ rolled steel joist or I-beam I think they call them, depending where you live. Uh, I've cut out this 90 degree section here as you can see. A saw with the angle grinder, it was a bit messy, wasn't neat, that, that neat at all. Anyway, we've got it out, I've just cleaned it up, and you can now see the V block coming together. Uh, I'll deconstruct it for you. These sides come from this flat bar, which was a lintel over a fireplace, it was carrying the brickwork over a fireplace, it was knocking the chimney out. And I've seen this like a jewel and I plucked it out of the rubble and I couldn't wait to get it home. That's what I did. So that cost me nothing. The RSJ was an off-cut off a building, that's cost me nothing. So the whole thing was basically gonna cost me, me time, which is which is a monty, isn't it? And you can see the construction. All what's left to do now is drill a couple of holes in here, each side, for a bolt. Uh, so I can put this strap on and the strap. I strap on <laughs> here. Who are the misses? Uh, I'll go over and have a bolt through it and that'll hold the work piece in place. Uh, the whole job was done on the Evolution sliding metal, aluminium and wood cutting chop saw. And I've got to say it was absolute monty. I can't fault it. I even got these angles here. See them angles there? I cut them on the sliding arm. That saves a lot of time. Uh, the only trouble is with these things is the chips they fall up. Hold on, let's get some. Yeah, there you go. These are all over my garage. It's going to take a bit of cleaning up. I really could do with a bandsaw, really, so I might treat myself to a bandsaw. Anyway, I'll set that all up for welding and we'll, we'll crack on. <sighs> I'm just drilling out the side plates now, the lintel, to take some M6 bolts again. I've decided to stack drill it, I think that's what you call it anyway, just to keep everything nice and accurate and uh, save time really. I'm about an hour in now on the carriage and I'm getting that sinking feeling that I'm a cheapskate and I should have just gone out and bought a V-block but I'll crack on. The problem is, as I'm welding the plates, the heat is forcing them to move. That's everything going out of square. But I've clamped it all together and I'm just going to tack the corner and hopefully everything will be fine. It's all set up. Yep, I'm happy with that. Great. There goes nothing. Great. What I shall do? I'll crack on a, I'll crack on a bit more. I'll show you the end result. I finished the carriage. I just need to attach the V to the carriage. It's a bit loose, but I think if I clamp the whole lot together, everything will be fine. It doesn't have to be super accurate, 
If I wanted a super accurate one, I'd have to buy one. Which is no problem. This is fine for what I need. Right. I'm going to weld it there, there and there. If I can get the arc to strike, I'm going to have a bit of problems. I don't know if the uh, mod's old or what, I don't know. Let's crack on. Once I don't. <sighs> right, it's done. And it's near enough for me. Near enough is good enough, that's why I always say. Things to do are give it a coat of paint and finish off the straps, the holding down straps, which I cut out to this bare section before. It's not very straight, but it does clean up well. Here's a piece I made earlier, all drilled and tapped, and I've got a piece in the vise that I'm bending at the moment, as you can see. I did the last one cold, and it was quite hard work, so I, I just thought it heated up a little bit, it might help it. That should be the finishing touches. Just a matter of bolting it to the main body. Yeah, happy with that. One down, one to go. Right, let's do this one now. I've nearly finished the V-block. I've just got to fly cut the bottom to get a nice parallel finish with the workpiece. So, by sitting the V-block on the workpiece and then going across, it should be parallel. Well, I hope it is. So when I then turn it back up the right way, everything should be nice. So let's get on with it. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what's behind door number two.
Well, that's turned out better than expected. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And this is the finished job. I'll give it a good two coats of Colchester Green, same colour as the layer, could just happen to have some left over. I was just going to stick some hexagonal bolts in these before I sod it, so I turned some little brass foam turns, M6s. Where you can see, and the tops are done at M10s. It just makes it look a bit fancier than what it is. So there you go. It's it's never going to be a precision ground block, but it's good enough for holding the workpiece. So thanks for viewing. Hope you enjoyed that. <sighs>